One of the top questions I get asked, why do I get hoarse? Today I want to talk about why that is. Stay tuned. There are a few reasons why your voice gets hoarse. Number one, you're sick. Yes, of course, that is a given. Number two, let's assume your voice is basically healthy, but you're still getting raspy and hoarse. It may be just an overuse. So if you have sung for a very long time, it is very normal to get hoarse. If you sung for hours on end and singing high, it is totally normal to get hoarse. That's just a normal sign of fatigue, which is totally normal. It's like working out. If you use your muscle, any muscle in your body, you start shaking and it gets very tired and it has no more strength left. That's the same with your vocal cords. Now, those are all the things that are not like they're, they're okay. It's not critical. So here come a few reasons for you being hoarse that could be dangerous. So the thing is, are you pushing too much air? Is there no compression? So when you're just pushing too much, when there's too much air flowing through your vocal cords, when you're trying to sing high and you don't have good vocal cord closure, it really creates a lot of friction on your vocal cords and that will make your horse very quickly. So any sign of breathiness indicates there's too much air flowing through your vocal cords without being transformed into actual sound. So you want to really listen for that and make sure you don't have too much breathiness. How do you reduce breathiness? First of all, make sure you have good posture and support. Second of all, you want to not exhale too much. You want to exhale slowly and the higher you sing, the less air you should need to use because your vocal cords tighten, they get closer and that opening where the air comes through gets smaller and smaller. So that is a really big thing. And that is one of the biggest thing I see is too much air and the lack of vocal cord closure. Raspin is really is a sign of your vocal cords not closing efficiently and something else to vibrate. So I'm singing now. So that's partially vocal fry, which means I don't just have good vocal cord closure and just my real vocal cords vibrate. So you want to make sure you're doing that. Sometimes even being just tired like this, I have some vocal fry creeping in. Now that is not necessarily rapping as yet, but um, you want to make sure you have a clean, clear sound. Always ask yourself if the strain is just momentarily or if it's like a long-term strain that you've been putting on your voice. So you want to make sure you keep your voice healthy and don't strain over a long period of time. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you want to find out more about working with me, you can just go to masteryourvoice.tv. You can do one-on-one -on -one sessions. We can have an intensive group coaching. I have my master class. You can also do a self-study online course. I have a couple of those. Also, you can send me a video and I will give you video feedback, a detailed analysis of your voice, how to improve and what to do next. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, don't forget, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye now.